Today I am going to show you how to use this Google Sheet with links to activities for teletherapy sessions or activities that can be used on devices for in-person speech therapy sessions. As you can see, this is the fall version, but this video and what I'm going to show you will apply to the spring, summer, winter, and everyday themed spreadsheets as well. So these uh, spreadsheets are organized by theme. So this has various fall themes that are shown here in like the darker headings. And then each column shows a different format or type of activity. Um, from PDFs, we have Boom Cards, Google Drive, as you can see, videos, online coloring. Several of them have a little tip, um, like just a little note about, um, you know, where to find, like in books, where you could might find some of these titles or things like that. Um, I'm also going to show you some tips for your, the Boom Card and uh, Google Slides columns for editing those. One thing to note is that you can use each theme uh, or that you can keep each theme minimized like this or expanded. Just kind of up to you personal preference. If you're working through one theme on a certain week, you might want to have that one expanded and all the other ones minimized. That's totally up to you, but that option is there. As I said, these columns show links, except for the books. Those are just titles to search for, but these show links to resources or websites um, you can click on them if they have, if they are in blue, uh, once you click on it, you'll see like a little box here or a picture and just click on the blue text again, and it will take you to that website. These are all, um, free or paid resources, but there's even one exclusive freebie on each one of the spreadsheets, meaning it is only available on this spreadsheet, nowhere else. And so you want to look and find that one. Like here's this one, uh, guess the pumpkin game. So that's an exclusive freebie that you can only get from this spreadsheet. If you work with older students, definitely note that the column on this far right side has activities for older students that you might want to check out, um, for that population. Of course, I want you to make this spreadsheet work for you so you can edit or um, add or delete any links or any text that you want to just by selecting the cell and hitting uh, delete on your keyboard like that. You want to you change your mind. You can always undo it. And then to add to the spreadsheet, maybe you found another video on YouTube that you want to add. You'll just type in whatever text you want, select the text, and then click this link button to change that link. My best tip for making this spreadsheet the most functional that it can be and the most time saving that it can be for you is on these boom cards and Google Drive links. Um, these links will take you to where you can download for free or purchase the activity. If you want to just make it a direct link to the activity once you own it, you can do that as well. And the way that you do that is, let's say I have this fall memory game. I just, I've opened it from my library. So um, if I'm in my boom, boom library, and let's say I'm searching for fall memory, there it is. I just want to highlight that link, copy it, and then uh, wherever it is. So here it is on my spreadsheet. And this is takes me to TPT. Well, I want it to be my actual boom learning deck so that I can just go straight there. So I am going to edit that link and then paste it. And now that will take me straight to the deck. So obviously you would need to be signed in to get the link and also to retrieve the link off of the spreadsheet. So just know that, but you can do that with any boom card deck that you have and any Google drive link that you have, make sure you're signed in to grab the link. And then once you are, you're going to be able to paste um, it in the spreadsheet and then go to it in the future. If you want to add a row, let's say I want to add some more fire prevention activities. I can just highlight the row above right click and then insert row below. That gives me more space to add more activities.
As with happens with links on the internet, there will be broken links from time to time. Periodically, I may update this spreadsheet to reflect those changes, maybe deleting links or fixing broken links. I will notify via TPT anybody that has the spreadsheets so that you can re-download the PDF and add this spreadsheet, the updated version to your Google Drive. I'd suggest deleting the old one. Or of course, at any time you can modify your own copy of the spreadsheet um, to reflect any updates that you want to make to it, any broken links, add your own links, as I said, delete any of these uh, cells that you would like to. I hope this helps you organize your links, your activities, so that you can have them one in one easy to use place for your planning and prep work for speech therapy and teletherapy sessions. Thanks for your attention. Bye-bye.